Now Perlman, Perlman, oh, Perlman, Perlman got the right hand free. He's loose with the right hand, and he starts to retaliate, and down goes Nylon, and the two of them are hammering each other. Knights of Columbus, that hurts. It's old time, Mark Enforcer of all hockey podcasts. It's the biscuit. It's the biscuit. The enforcer of all hockey podcasts. God help the fucking day if fighting's ever banned. Cause our country will stop working on so bad this fucking can. Hi everybody. It's the biscuit podcast. Hey, you wanna go? Yeah, okay. Good luck, man. Good luck to you too, buddy. You can't start a show normal when Big Rand's back. You guys thought he was dead. You know he was fired. Here he is. What's the seal? <laughs> How's it going, Big Rand? Uh, nothing, man. Getting ready to watch the WNBA here in a little couple hours. <laughs> there's MLS today, I think. You know, it's fucking funny that even though there's no sports, no one is still watching the WNBA. No, why would you? It's not good. I, you can't, you can't tell me it is. No, it never will be. No, and I watch the fucking women's hockey team practice. <laughs> But I won't watch the WNBA. No, I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's just not good. Well, baseball's back. Believer. Oh, Believer oh, fit 15Ks last night. Yeah, it was nuts. Most, apparently, most, apparently you get MLB extra innings for the, for the weekend. So is that, what, every game? Yeah, it's, it's the equivalent to, like, the NFL red zone and NHL. Well, I didn't, nice. even, I didn't even think that you don't get Indians games. No, I get the games I had last night were like the Yankees or it's all whoever plays like on ESPN is the only game I got. So what so is, is your local team the Tigers or the White Sox? <laughs> Tigers. That sucks. Yeah. What? It's nice because yeah. the Indians used to play the Tigers like 25 times a year. So. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. Oh, God, that's a silent fart voodoo there. Yeah, I get I get Fox I get Fox Sport Detroit. Well, that's the first fart voodoo in a while. Looks like it's going to be Tyler Toffoli. Yep, he's having fart. a bad. Tyler Toffoli, you're either going to have the best playoffs ever or the worst. Damn, fart voodoo is back. 2020, right. COVID <laughs> over. Fart voodoo just ended it. Oh, well, it's nice. Baseball's back. Uh, yeah, fuck that was you. fun. Fuck the NBA. They, their numbers had to have been the biggest they've had in a long time, people watching baseball. Oh, I bet. Welcome to the Biscuit. Big Rand's here. We're going to break down the Eastern Conference qualifiers. Why isn't this fucking charging? One second. There it goes. Um, before we get into that, they Seattle named their team. They are the Kraken. It's what everybody wanted. You guys get it. I didn't love it. Whatever. What do you think? You're a Kraken guy. You wanted it. So now, yeah, I love it. <sighs> I also think that I. Have you ever had the Kraken, the black spice rum? Yeah, uh, Coop and I almost fist fought in the streets of Columbus one night. Me and my brother-in-law Brandon did fight after drinking a bottle of that. It's a hundred and ten proof black spice rum. I had a couple sips. Coop took the bottle to the head, and we, we played a show at, uh, by we, I mean Artillery Breath. It wasn't Last House on the Left, but it was the other one. 
I don't remember the name of the place, but he kept pulling my fucking hair. And I, <laughs> <laughs> so he ended up leaving because we were screaming at each other in the street and neither of us wanted to fight each other because we're friends. So he went and like walked down high, not high street, but you know, that area where like, you know, doors are just open. People are partying. Yeah. Especially if it was like Saturday. Yeah, and he ended up going in one house that was just like a DJ like playing setup, but no one was in the house. The house was completely empty. So he just walked around and drank booze and then ended up sleeping with a dog. A, not like an ugly chick, a literal dog that night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I left. I left Columbus. I don't even know how he got back to Michigan. Yeah, that, I'm t- that stuff is no joke. But I swear to God, if you're going to name your team the Kraken, and I lived in Seattle, and I went to a game. You better come up with some type of mixed drink that you're selling that involves that liquor. Well, if it's in Seattle, it's going to be Republican blood. <laughs> come get a fifth, Tuesday only, fifteen dollars. Republican blood. Republic, Republican blood and kid piss. <laughs> call it the call it the Eric Fike. I'll tell you what. I, I'm a I don't know why this might be weird, but I'm a big fan of, like, anchors. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, when people have anchor tattoos, like, like Hank 3. Yeah, instance, fucking sailors. Has, no, Hank 3 ain't no sailor, but he has a sick-ass anchor tattoo. And Do you just, That must be, they, like, a retarded dude thing, because Pat McAfee said the same thing. He's like, I don't know, I like that anchor on the sleeve. Their new anchors fucking fucking tweet i like it the s is dumb yeah i like the anchor logo by itself i like the anchor with the s snake through it and you knew they were going to be blue you knew it was going to be like seahawks colors yeah i don't mind the colors or whatever i think they i voted for those white gloves online did they 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 didn't release that yet have they well they had like a the mock-up they had a vote between four gloves and they had these white ones that were the best ones, but they won't win. Someone will pick, like, the fucking green ones. I love a white glove. I guess I like the S because it kind of is the throwback to the Metropolitans because they just had the S on there. I don't know. Whatever. People wanted it. I don't have to like it. Kids will like it. The hype video was cool. Yeah, the hype video was great. And then it, there's the... Yeah, Bron- Bronson's probably going to be a, a fucking Kraken fan now because I, of that. I like the Raptors. You yeah, like the Grizzlies. Yeah. That's what kids do. They like expansion teams. Babcock, he's a Golden Knights fan. Yeah, I remember liking the Grizzlies. I talked and to him. I talked to him last night after we got out of the rink, dude. It was so nice taking Arwen skating. She had a fucking blast. Good. And there's only thirty kids. You're only well thirty people on the ice at one time. Oh, nice. So we had to register and drove out there, and then so it was nice to have like a, a lot of sheet and. The ice was in pretty goddamn good condition too. I mean, it was it was fucking cold and slick. Uh, not slick. Fuck you guys. I know people just DM me, but oh, you like slick ice, you fucking stupid fuck. <laughs> uh, but uh, she did great. It was the the best she's ever skated, and it was only open for an hour and a half, and I had to peel her off the ice. Good. So it was. Uh, has Bronson? Is everything canceled in Michigan? Well. He plays hockey in South Bend. So, but that's not season, right? No, but uh, we haven't skated since the last time we skated was South Bend put this outdoor Howard Park thing together where it's literally like a trail, Uh huh. but it's all ice. So, like, they made it to where, like, I mean, they're, like, a trail, like, zigging and zagging, and it swirls all of it. It goes around all this entire park. That sounds cool as fuck. Yeah, it is really cool. They put it on, um, they put it on, uh, the alt, the, they have it hooked up to where they, they'll keep it cold as long as they can, wet weather permitting. Like, so you could skate there, and it'd be, like, 50 degrees. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. <laughs> and, uh, we went there. And uh, Mavis was – that was really the first time Mavis had gotten out there. She was about two. That's when so, Frankie yeah. started. To, she could just kind of stand there. But Bronson, he's faster than me. 
I believe that. I mean, it, 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 like, he was always pretty good at skating, but, like, I could always catch him, you know, and mess around with him, you know? Well, just imagine when he's nine. Oh, yeah, when he was at Hog Park, he would skate up to me like we were playing tag, and he would tag me and take off, and it took, like, everything in my body to catch him. <laughs> well, you had to think that he's being taught properly by people, and we taught yeah. us, we taught ourselves. Yeah. So I, I, I can skate, but... I can tell kids who were, like, coached and taught to skate, too. Like, dudes that are my age that obviously played, like, competitively. Yeah, he got he got good at the end of the year. My, my mom came up to that game, he put up four goals. Yeah, that's awesome. So, is he in baseball? No, all of Michigan canceled baseball. Everything? If we'd have we went to Indiana, he could have played baseball. Ontario started, and then they canceled. Clear Fork, I saw kids playing baseball. And supposedly, yeah. everything else is going... Mom was like, talked to mom yesterday, and she was like super sad that Division Three football's canceled, and it's like for good, hopefully, because like that's call it? yeah. She's like, what about those Heidelberg seniors? Like, who gives us a shit? They should have quit sophomore year of fucking high school. <laughs> fucking student prints. Division Three is retarded. There's no. no I mean, in Ohio is like the only place that's big. I've noticed. Live in, live in Michigan. They don't really care. No. Ohio is just like, hell yeah, there's football on. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. Absolute waste of money. Um, but no, I was talking to Babcock on my way out of the rink because uh, I was trying to take a different way home. And uh, he said they were watching WMFD, and it was like the first game you guys played his senior year. Yeah, my junior year basketball and you guys were off to a good start or something before you became real terrible but the dude well, on the tv before being first started drinking they were like <laughs> randy bartram with 22 points 10 rebounds who in the hell's randy bartram <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was against ashland and actually i think it was 28 Oh, so was mom on the other other sideline? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So for people, to, my mom was a cheerleading coach for a different high school, so she would only see Randy play when Randy, when Randy was going to play at her school. Oh shit! And what's funny is because I had to go watch Brennan play at least once a weekend. Our older brother, and I never saw you play basketball one time. No, no one did, and I was. <laughs> 25 a game. <laughs> I told that to Laura, and she's just like, that's what's wrong with you guys. You're all fucking just mentally destroyed. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get into the task of the day here, Randy. Hockey's starting Tuesday. We get to see it. I've been watching the scrimmages online. Have you watched any of the Penguins games or anything? <laughs> no, I have I've listened to uh, Solly talk about the talk about people skating and stuff, and, and reporters talking about them skate. I haven't watched any; I've just read or have listened to what they're talking about. I saw Sydney do a fucking interview on Zoom with a mask on. <sighs> That's getting popular for some reason. Doing the, the interview with the mask on when you're in a hotel room by yourself. Yeah, and I, I, like I see reporters do it all the time too. I'm like, who are you? No one's even around you. Fossey didn't even wear it at the fucking baseball game. What's crazy about that guy is he lied to everybody. Twice. <laughs> Literally lied. He knew that the information he was giving out was wrong, and then we're supposed to trust him after that. Like if he would have came out and said, "Listen, masks can help, but we don't have enough, so don't go buy them all." I mean, people still would have went out and bought them, but at least he wouldn't have lied. Instead of saying that we didn't need them? Yeah. Oh, and also, uh, Canada, you guys don't get a fucking baseball team anymore. If you're such big pussies that you won't let your baseball team play, you don't get American fucking baseball anymore. Welcome the Buffalo Blue Jays. That's a fucking team I can get behind when the Indians change to the Spiders. I agree. Fuck you, Canada. That's the most pussy shit you don't yeah, get I, you don't get baseball anymore. You don't get it. It it it's over for you. You don't get it. 
it seems pretty crappy to me that they're forcing that baseball team to go find somewhere else to play. And, and so many cities have said, yeah, we'll do it. So I don't know if they found someone yet. But they're playing in Buffalo. They are. Yeah. At the college. Uh, the, uh, their uh, minor league affiliate. Yeah. So, I mean, I even Pittsburgh was like, hey, you can play here. We don't care. Like yep. So many people were Pittsburgh, like, you can play. Pennsylvania turned them down. Yeah, which I, I mean, where, where, where are the hub cities they decided for the hockey? Did they decide that yet? Yeah, of course. In Toronto and Edmonton. For Canada? Yeah. No, that's the two spaces. And, and they're going to play hockey in Canada. Yes. All, the, all the games will be in Canada. All of them, right? Every single game, yeah. But wouldn't play baseball. No, just, because they, just because they were mad that they were going to go back and they're forth. They're still traveling, right? <clears throat> Instead of like how they're doing the hubs for hockey. Right. But hey, <laughs> hey. same damn thing. None of those baseball players are allowed to leave. Right. There's they no one at the leave. fucking arena. It's stupid. It's fucking <laughs> stupid. It, and, and then the Blue Jays infield, <clears throat> I was reading today. First time ever, all of them have bloodlines in Major League Baseball. Um, yeah, Cav on Biggio's on my fantasy team. Craig Biggio's kid? Craig Biggio's kid. He played for Notre Dame, yeah. Craig Biggio did? No, Cav on did. I just saw uh, some. However, however the hell you say his name, I don't know. I saw Samarja still pitching. Yeah, the shark. He's freaking awesome. Yeah, he was a bad motherfucker. Whatever year... He was in NCAA 2004 or 3. Oh, God, yeah. He was a beast. Yeah. They, um, but, yeah, it's like uh, Vladimir Guerrero, mm-hmm. Kavon Biggio, and then uh, Bo, Bo Bichette, because his dad, uh, like Bo Bichette Sr., played, like, in the early 90s. It's crazy. There's, like, four or five dudes on that team. I saw trivia... Um, can you name the other professional sports teams that don't add end with an S? That don't end with an S? Yeah, like the Kraken. Like Stanford, the Cardinal? Professional. What league? Any? Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough question. I don't know the answer. I'm Googling it right now. Um, oh, Give okay. Give me five seconds. <laughs> don't look it up. Montreal, the Canadian? Nope. <laughs> Red Sox. Ooh, White Sox too then. Yep. Uh, Avalanche. Colorado Avalanche, yeah. Miami. Heat. Oh, Heat. Oklahoma City Thunder. The Orlando Magic. Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, there's way more than I thought. Yeah, there's a decent amount now you keep saying them. Red Sox, I would have never thought of because I'm stupid. No, I, it sounds, it is plural. That is like a, you know, if you go to the Winking Lizard, though, if that trivia came up, that would be hard to nail. <clears throat> well, now I got those in my brain, so I got at least three. Yeah, add that to your autism fucking chip in the back of your head there. It's there. It's <clears throat> low. Um, okay, so the top four teams, who do you like out of there just to get your, well, you'll have to come back on once we know the seeds and we'll do an, another bracket, but who do you like out of the Boston lightning capitals flyers to get that top seed at least? So, who, Cause they're going to do the round Robin. Yeah. I, I, I think, have it listed as Bruins lightning <laughs> Capitals, Flyers. All right, that's not bad. I think if I think Philly if would have been able to roll into the playoffs, they would have been a dangerous team. I think depending on where Carter Hart's at, you know that'll be interesting. Uh, I I wouldn't want to play Boston. All I can hope for is that somehow Philly gets the fourth seed and then plays Pittsburgh because that would be sweet. Yeah. I I based all of my picks off of my seedings, so my picks are based off who I think they're going to play as well. Well, we're we're just doing the qualifiers, so yeah, I know, I know but I mean, 
I based my qualifying picks off of who I thought was going to get those four seeds. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You thought of who would play the fourth seeds the best? No, like, uh, like, like you said, I think the Flyers are going to get the fourth seed. Yeah. But I think the Penguins are going to beat the fucking Canadians is what I mean. Like, I, that's who I'm, I'm picking. I was basing it kind of off that. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, let's just start with that one. And I know you're going to pick Pittsburgh, obviously, so I'll play devil's yeah. advocate. I, I also think Pittsburgh's going to win. For some reason, I don't know if it's just like TSN or Twitter, but people still don't think Sidney Crosby's the best hockey player in the world. And that, yeah, it's crazy. And he, he either yesterday or the day before, he skated but didn't participate. But, I mean, they're basically saying that he's good to go. They're just they're fucking pussyfooting around about it. Oh, is he hurt? Yeah, he's not like hurt. I I forget what it is, but maybe he's he got eight. maybe he's got the COVID. They got Jake Gensel back. Well, they're not releasing anybody who gets sick either. It's just going to say unable to play. Yeah. No matter and, what. And uh, during these scrimmages, Malkin is in full throttle beast mode. I just keep hearing how he is just dominating so who's the kid behind murray it was murray and uh tristan jari tristan jari and jari was doing pretty damn well 20 and 12 on the year a lot of this is going to be which goalie gets in the zone man who's, yeah for who, sure who penguins, comes out hot yeah penguins are riding on they're riding on if murray kind of i, I guarantee murray will get it well, he should. But and then, if if he hits a slump, I think I think Tristan will be ready. So I'm I think they're gonna do what they did when they won the back to back with playing Fleury and Murray because they played both those guys a lot that year. I think you have to to play that in your head too. The teams like Pittsburgh that have a one A one B, Columbus who has Merz Lincolns and Corpusalo, and then you look at the Habs. It's they have Carey Price or they're fucked. So if Carey yeah. Price comes out and doesn't play well, they're fucked. And, I mean, he's 27 and 25 this year. Yeah. I feel bad for that guy, man. I don't know why, but he's a phenomenal goalie. But, god damn, like, he gets a lot of go- uh, pucks at him. But then, too, like, Shea Weber's always hurt. He doesn't have the defense in front of him. The team's not as strong, but... Just play devil's advocate. You know, if, if Domi can get in the head, kind of pest around, do what he needs to do, and Weber stays healthy, uh, that well, Phelan kid was really good. Uh, Tatar, have, he was turning it on. Well, he he's they, Jonathan Druin and, and Tomas Tartar were both hurt. So yeah, I think both. I think both. If both those guys play, that makes the Canadians better. Yeah, both those guys were on my fantasy team, uh, back-to-back champ. No big deal. Yeah, I was about to win that, too. My team was fucking hot. About to, I did, back-to-back. I um, was mad. That- I, I, I don't – I was going to play devil's advocate. I'm not going to. I don't think the Habs have a chance. I keep hearing people say they do. I think, they're, I think they don't win a game, to be honest with you. I think they get swept. The, the Penguins are – Penguins are healthy. Which is when they win cups. Every year that someone's hurt, they don't win the Stanley Cup. Yeah, and and they have a very deep lineup. It all depends. Head to head this year, they were two to one against the Habs. Do you think everybody in the room is like, "Let's go get this"? I oh yeah, for sure. And I think that I told you this the other day. I think this year's cup is going to rely on savvy veterans. More than normal, because these dudes are going to be like, "Listen, this is what we do," and some of them might be like, "Like Crosby and Malkin might be thinking in their head, we might not play hockey again." Yeah. The, okay. So there's that, and then there's also I think it might be intriguing because this is different. So maybe Crosby's like, "Okay, well, this is a new way I can beat everybody." Yep, a new little uh, twist and boost that's different for them. That's Damn. why I think you have to have veterans right now because those young guys are thinking. Oh, cool, we get to go play hockey finally. These old guys are thinking, cup. I didn't even fucking think about that, that maybe some of those guys are going, who, with the way shit's going, they might not ever play again. 
Yes, a couple old guys might be like, yeah, I'm done. I don't care anymore. Yeah. Man, that's fucking... Well, Just so... Retire. Yeah, I think Pittsburgh wins. Um, who do you like out of Islanders in Florida? Maybe the most boring fucking series out of all of these fucking 24 teams. I have the Islanders on a, on a fucking sweep of deep. 24 teams. Yeah, the I- Islanders... Islanders beat them three times to zero head to head this year, and I think that's just going to continue. They're the home team. New York Islanders are the home team, so they'll. Is Trocheck healthy? They got the first two games right off the bat. Is Trocheck healthy? I'm not sure. Dude, Florida's got some fucking firepower, man. Bob was being Bob. At the end of the year. No, I mean, he's had a rough year. Well, he was playing good at the end of the year because he was. Um, I remember he was my fantasy team. He was finally fucking playing good. Okay, so say Bob comes out. You know, if if Trocek's healthy, Dadinov's fucking killing it. Their D D core can score. I'm going to go Florida. I mean, I think this one will go five games. I think Florida edges it out just because I don't think the Islanders have enough to to get past Bob. You know, they only trickle in a few goals here and there. Their defense and goalies are always, you know, uh, what's his dick, always has that system locked down. What's that guy's fucking name? Who? The coach. For the Islanders? Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. It's the Caps old coach. Old Toad Boy. Oh. The fuck? Uh, Tor- Trots? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Trots. Hey, I Barry think he, Trotch? I think Barry Trotch is going to... I think he's already looking to next year. He's got a Russian kid coming in to play goalie. They're going to get shit set up for next year, and the Islanders are going to be scary next year. I think Florida, Florida beats them in five, but uh, nobody... And also, nobody watches it because nobody gives a shit about that series. Um, no. This is this is like I said earlier. This it, this would be the potential player of my three seed Capitals if my seeding is correct. Two seed. No, seven and ten would play the three. Six and eleven play three. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah so I would. I think that the winner of this. Then my seeding was backwards. I have I would have Capitals at two, um, because I I want the Islanders and Capitals to play each other. Yeah, me too. I hope so. That would be awesome. That yeah, would be that, great. That, that's what I want to happen. And that, so I messed up. I, I have the Capitals at two, Lightning at three. But uh, yeah, I think Islanders beat the Panthers, and I think uh, Barry Crotch gets his re, re reunion. Cool. I didn't. I would take Islanders if if that were the case. I would take Islanders over Capitals, just because, just to get some sports shit. Like I said, New York won all three matchups earlier in the year. Well, if anyone knows how to play that team and play lines better than anybody on this planet, it'd be Trotje. Yeah, not Trotje, Trots. I'm fucking. It's early. Crotch. Crotch. Um, man, I would like that, dude. Now I'm getting real. Fucking excited for Tuesday. Yeah. Um, Hurricanes, Rangers. This is going to be a fun one. Um, Rangers are fucking fun to watch, man. Panarin rules. Uh, I would like to see Lundqvist make a run at it here. I don't know if those guys got what it takes. And Hurricanes are fucking good. They're probably my least favorite team in the world. But I can't deny how good they are. And Dougie Hamilton's healthy. Yeah, I was going to say, they get, a lot, they get a lot back. Um, So, you know, Mrazek was playing pretty good. Well, how, how do you see it? This one's, this. I think this one's a toss-up. This is a 50-50 flipper up. Peter. Um, I'm taking the Rangers. <sighs> and how many? All of them. Rangers in five? Yeah, I think I think they go they I think they're gonna split and then Lundquist is gonna 
do is do uh Do you think Lundqvist will play? Uh, I don't know. They got three goalies. Three goalies with Shesterkin and Gorgiev. With George, yeah. Okay, so check this out. Peep this. You fucking play Shesterkin and George, but you have to dress all three and use a roster spot for three of them. Which I don't. I don't know. Have you seen a, a roster's uh, a Rangers roster? Are, are all three of them on it? Um, right now it's all I've seen is that they're both. Everyone keeps talking about who are. Um, who are the Rangers going to play? Who are the, the Hurricanes going to play? Because they have Reamer and Mrazek. And then, are you going to play Igor or Georgie or Henrik for the Rangers? I so I I don't know who they're going to play yet. Damn, man! If the Rangers can get past the Hurricanes, I would. Man, it would be fucking great to see Hank get there one last time and try to win one. Yeah, and it would be funny if the Rangers won a cup. And the of the fake cup, COVID cup, the old COVID cup. Um. Also, not that it matters, but Rangers beat them four head to head four zero this year, and didn't just beat them like put up five like every time. All right, well, I'll go to my fucking Tony D'Angelo Rangers and five. That's why. Hank plays and Hank plays great. Hank's gonna retire. This is his fucking swan song. Yeah, I, like you said, he, he probably won't. I'd probably start Igor and I'd start Shesterkin. That dude's a fucking stud. Yeah, he's got the best first name in the league. So Igor. Okay, the series that everybody's waiting to see. The best series out of the play-ins besides the Habs and Pens. Um, my and your Columbus Blue Jackets versus the just downtrodden, defeated establishment of a franchise, the the lowly losers in Toronto, the Maple Leafs, the Brats. But, but they're the... The what? Did I lose you? Can you hear me? Hello. There you go. I lost your voice. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. So, what'd you say? You said something. I think it was a joke. I missed it. Oh, I said they'll be in Toronto. Yeah, but there's nobody there anyhow. Yeah, that's true. So it won't be like a home game. The only thing that scares me about them is this is kind of like a video game tournament. So they might get pumped about that, but I really don't think that they care. I have a tournament. What do you mean? Like playing five, loser gets a fucking first round pick. Oh yeah. Um, they'll obviously be comfortable. They'll know the ice better than anybody, but there's no fans. Um, they score a ton. Yeah, they're not. Tougher than Columbus. That's for goddamn sure. Um, no, not too many teams are. No. Columbus is healthy. Columbus is full-blown healthy. Seth Jones, Wierenski, Cam Atkinson. They, this team, the only thing that worries me about Columbus is they haven't been healthy all year, so they haven't gelled at all. Zero. Yeah. That's, that's what I meant earlier about veterans. Like... Teams like the Penguins and they've been together for a while. Yeah, I mean, but this team got the the playoff bug off their shoulder last year. Um, Yeah. Elvis had an amazing couple weeks here, you know, with the five shutouts and like six games or whatever the hell he did, just turned it on and became the guy everyone wanted him to be. Corpusala was an all-star. Literally. So, 
But I'll take you back memory lane here when the Cleveland Monsters, which a lot of these guys were on that team, Orensky, Bjorkstrand, a, a lot of these guys won that Calder Cup that are here now. Josh Anderson, um, Corpusalo dominated that net all year long until the playoffs came. And Anton Forsberg took over and never gave him the net back. So does Corpusalo have that weird I can't play in the playoffs thing, which I don't understand, man. I always liked playing in the clutch, but but he doesn't have to worry either, except for like losing his job entirely. That because Merce Lincolns is there, he wants to play. He wants to be a superstar. He Merce Lincolns wants to beat Toronto in Toronto. He's a fucking serial killer. He's gonna. He wants to score a hat trick against them. He's a fucking a madman. And yeah. they have the best coach in hockey, John Tortorella. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yours, is Jones and Borkstrand or, or Borkstrand are both supposed to play? Oh yeah, they're both. They will. They will play. They're and Atkinson. Atkinson. Anderson's going to Toronto too. We don't know if we'll see him in the first series, but Josh Anderson is on the roster. And they don't know about Ryan Murray. No, Ryan Murray. Um, out of the scrimmage the other day, looked better than anybody on the team. Oh, so he is playing. He's playing, and it was just, I know it was an inner squad scrimmage, but he looked better than anybody on the ice. Ryan Murray. So they're getting two defensive players back with Murray and Jones. Two, yeah. Atkinson, which is kind of a leader in in the middle and been there for a while. He has to turn it on. He has to be the guy who they paid him to be. If he plays good, their 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 team's really when he's if he's dealing, their team's good. Yeah. They brought up but, the, they brought up Liam Foodie, the kid. Um, if I think if Cam comes out and scores that first game, Columbus wins. If Cam, yeah. I think they gotta have someone to score because Toronto's going to score three goals a game, right? Yeah. So you have to score four or more. That's a lot of fucking goals. The bad part about Columbus drawing that nine is the fact that they're going to have to play the one seed. Yeah. Um, I know. That that round robin is going to be interesting to see if those teams care about even getting first or, like, if they want to strategically place third so they play – you know what I mean? If Boston's like, okay, I want to lose so we can go play the Hurricanes. That's kind of what I was talking about earlier with, like – Because you're in already. You know what I mean? You're in. If you're the Flyers, why wouldn't you want to be the fourth seed? I know that sounds crazy, but oh. you obviously don't go try to lose. But at the same time, when it's third period and you're down 2-0, you might be thinking, good, we get to go play the Penguins. or the, you know. Well, they don't want to go play the Penguins. Yeah, that's true, too. You, they might, though, because they think that they can beat them, but they can't. Yeah, yeah. I, if I if I was a flyer, I would I would want to. So yeah, they they're professional athletes. They have to. And Giroux fucking hates that team. So maybe it would be a way to kind of to to close that out. And you know, because they've been getting beat down by them since the nineties. Here's something I've been thinking about. Um, so if I was 24 years old, even even my age right now. Um, 31, and I was in the NHL, and you put me in one of these hub cities, and I played for the Blue Jackets. What do you think I'm going to do all night? I'm going to play on my phone and or play video games until 4 in the morning. That's what they said. These dudes are going to be hanging out with each other, too. So that's why I said that teams like... Do you think that Sidney Crosby and Gally Malkin and these dudes are... And some of these other veterans in this league, you think like Brian Boyle, or you think these dudes are, you think he's sitting down and playing Fortnite all night? No, not a chance. I would, I would think Sidney Crosby doesn't like video games. No, for sure doesn't play video games. And if he does, for some reason, he's really good, like the best at it. <laughs> like, picks up Guitar Hero and beats it. They just like laugh about it. He's just like, oh, first time. Oh. Well, the, it, it's a great point, and. It, just to flash to the West real quick, a team like the 
Winnipeg Jets, who Mark Shifley, who's like hockey obsessed, Blake Wheeler, so a little bit of older guys. Patrick Line, he's Finnish, you know, like he's going to sit in his room, whatever. I think the Jets are scary out of there before that very reason. Um, so you got Columbus, you got Nick Felino. They got, they're older than Toronto, and Toronto's already had problems. Maple Leafs have that, that those, you know, that those young those young guns that are doing commercials for video games. I you know I like right, play, right. playing playing video games. I lost you again. Hold up. After we said Zoom was so good too. Can you hear me? Yeah. I don't know if it's you or me, but I'm plugged into a hardwire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking not to brag or anything, but I'm fucking hardline in. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, I obviously I I just one, I don't want Columbus to lose. Um, but I don't think Toronto's there yet. I th- one day, one of these high-speed, high-scoring teams will win a cup. It hasn't happened yet. I don't think this is the year that it happens. I think, I think Columbus loses one game. Columbus and four. Toronto. <sighs> fucking piece of shit, garbage. Fucking how many? I think it takes all of them. I think it's a. Um a heartbreaking series. I think it's a very, like a, by heartbreaking, I mean like, um, like Toronto wins game one. Over time. In over, yeah. Yeah. I think they're all ridiculous. I think they're all ridiculous games. And I think they're all five to four. I don't think any of them are one to two. I don't think any of them are one to zero. It's going to be, it's the, it's not going to beat the Blue Jackets one to zero. It's the two most different teams. Yeah. And like I said, Toronto won't beat the Blue Jackets one zero. I don't. I do not see that happening. It, okay, so say Merz Lincolns gets in and and pulls a shutout somehow. Okay, no. you know what I mean. No. I'd be shocked. It'd be fucking crazy, right? That's but what what's going to happen though? And we all know this. Somewhere, one of these teams, you know, whether it be Chicago beats Edmonton, something weird's going to happen. It's playoff sports, right? Yeah, for sure. So you know. Maybe Toronto does just smoke them out. And, you know, it was like last year, though. It's the same thing. Nobody's really given Columbus a whole lot of a chance. I was watching Steve Dangle and all these fucking internet fucks last year. Like, they had a highlight video of it. Of like, ooh, the, every single category, Tampa Bay's better. And we all remember my tweet last year. Columbus and four. And, oh. I, was, and I was right. The head to head, they've only they played they played twice this year. One and one. Toronto won game one four to one. Bad, bad, bad game. I remember it very well. Game two, the Blue Jackets won in overtime. So head to head, they were one zero and one against the Maple Leafs. Well, if, if I think those are what you're going to see. If Toronto wins, it's going to be a butt spanking. For sure, that's my point. They won't. I, I would be shocked. If the freaking Maple Leafs win a game one to zero, they don't have that kind of if, team. If the Maple Leafs beat the Blue Jackets by one to zero, I'll shove two of my own fingers in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have that kind of team. No, 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 no. So they don't. They're not. They're not grinders. They're a. They're a. They're new. They're the new age of what's happening. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like they're not grinders. They're not. They're not. They they, they didn't grind it out on defense. No, no. I'm not taking anything away from the Maple Leafs. Oh, okay. Frederick Anderson, who's been hurt, is he okay? Uh, I don't see anything on him not playing. So. And besides him, they're doomed. But and he's great. He's a great goalie. These Maple Leafs don't understand that the Blue Jackets. We're coming oh, hard. Oh. oh. Almost knocked off the best hockey team in the history of hockey in 2016 with the Penguins. 
Oh god, how good was that series? I mean, the way, the physicality of that Jackets team then and now are equal. It's and they, this this defense this Blue Jackets team that's coming out is different than the team that's played all year. Gerby's not going to be out there. Stenlin's not going to be out there. It's going to be the team they were supposed to be at the beginning of the year, and. I don't know if that's good or bad. We're going to find out. I, I just can't wait to see it, man. I'm very, I'm very I'm very excited. They're garbage without Seth Jones. Dude, my God. It was they were three, it was five, terrifying to see what they looked like when he got hurt. They got it. They pulled it back together, but those first few games after he got hurt, it was scary. They were 3, 5, and 6 with him out. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, it's not. <laughs> That is not pretty good. No, they were starting to fall. It if it would have, they would have probably missed the playoffs. They don't play good without George Sand either for some reason. George Sand, dude, and he's he's looking like he was in the AHL. Man, he's getting real comfortable in there. He's getting confidence when he's scoring. He's not afraid to sell you a little bit. He's he knows that he belongs in the NHL, and that I think that's big for him too. I, I have to go Columbus and four. I'm going Columbus and four. Wouldn't shock me if it's Toronto and five. Wouldn't shock me at all. I'm going Toronto and five. Yeah, well. And, and they're going to have to play Boston, so it don't matter. Yeah, you can't fucking read, so that's how much I appreciate your fucking picks. Um, and so Toronto does. Toronto loses, and then they get the first round pick. They get fucking Lafferty Daniel. That's the last thing you want. Is Toronto. I know, but that's why I want it to happen because Toronto can't take him. Like they don't have. What do they do with that kid? There's no room on their team for it. You take him. Yeah, I know you have to, but what do they do? Like their whole team, they're just like, what the fuck? We have 19 first 19 round picks. <laughs> it would just be funny to see them because they'd have to get rid of somebody. Somebody would have to go. Do you think that? Mitch and and how many years does it take before Mitch and Austin are sick of losing? Uh, Austin won't be there after whatever contract he has right now. So you think that he's going to get sick of not only losing but sick of losing with them? Yeah, I think he wants to go back home and play. I think he's going to end up in Arizona. Country roads? Yep. I, he is a mama's boy to the T. Uh, I think... I think he wants to win Arizona's first Stanley Cup. I think that means – I think out of anything that means anything to that guy, and I don't know him at all, I think that sit, means I think that means something to him. You think it's sitting in the back of his brain he might not even want it right now? No, because he's a pretty – I swear to God there's games where he looks like he might be the best player. I've ever seen. And then there's games where I'm kind of like, he's skating like such a putz. He's hung over, bro. He the dude fucking parties, dude. I that's what I mean. When is he gonna get sick of losing and and start bearing down? Because my generation, those young guys came in and they were already sick of losing. In four years, Austin Matthews will be the best hockey player in the NHL. I agree. He he is four years. Undeniably, one of the best goal scorers right now. Yeah, I, obviously, he's only played like four years, right? Yeah, Connor's really, really good, right? I'm not, I'm not giving him anything. I'm not saying anything that no one's ever said. I just think Austin Matthews' complete game will be. He he reminds me more of a Sydney guy than Connor McDavid, but. When when's Connor? Mc, I mean, how how much more can Edmonton take having him? I don't know. I don't know, man. I and like I've said this before, you know, Crosby and Malkin won that cup at a pretty young age. Yeah, and it took them what ten years. Yeah. Yeah. I, was I, a, I was either I was either a junior or a senior in high school. No, they First won oh nine, right? Was it oh nine? I thought it was oh eight. Either way, it was almost eight years. Two thousand sixteen. Because what year 
Sydney come in four or five, not four because of the lockout. So he was Sydney sweepstakes was five. Yeah, your senior year. Yeah, so he won one in four years. That's not that long. Oh uh, yeah, he was also like fourteen. Yeah, well, he's also the best hockey player in the world. <laughs> You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck you. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I've hey. I, I, I like those picks. We'll we'll get back in after it, man. Uh, good to talk to you. Good to see you, man. And uh, we'll talk soon, buddy. Yep. I remember. Yeah, but did you know that when it snows, my eyes become larger. The light that you shine. I'm not doing any ads either. Fuck the sponsors. Kiss my fucking ass. Alright, right, I'm How many bucks do I give?